The savannas and rocky hills of southern and eastern Africa are home to Africa's longest venomous snake, the black mamba. Reaching up to 14 feet in length, this fast-moving serpent can kill a human in just 20 minutes. You would definitely want to avoid this fellow. More than 5,800 kilometers away, in the land of rich and vivid natural heritage, India, you will find more than 270 species of snakes. India alone accounts for about 10% of the total snake population in the world. Like the black mamba in Africa, the Indian cobra, the crate, the Russell's viper and the saw-scaled viper are the most venomous snakes here. This four are together called the Big Four, a group of snakes responsible for the majority of deaths due to snake bites. But are all snakes so perilous? Well, you would be satisfied to know that out of more than 270 species of snakes in India, only about 60 are highly venomous. Welcome to Brainify. In today's video, we are going to help you figure out whether a snake is venomous or not, show you some of the most venomous snakes found in India, and also the ones that are not potentially harmful. Watch till the end because we are also going to teach you how to escape safely if you happen to meet a poisonous snake. After all, they can be anywhere. So how to tell if a snake is poisonous? Look at its appearance. Most venomous snakes have a more angular and wedge-shaped head, while non-venomous snakes are round and vertical-headed with long slender bodies. This is the best way to know if a snake is poisonous by observing from a safe distance. With more careful observation, you may notice holes or pits on the head. Venomous snakes like rattlesnakes, copperheads, cottonmouths are called pit vipers as they have two pits that appear on their snouts. But be careful not to get too close looking for those pits or you may fall in a pit yourself. After the head, the next is the eyes. Like a cat's eye, poisonous snakes have thin black vertical pupils surrounded by a yellow-green eyeball while non-venomous snakes have round pupils. However, there are some exceptions to this. For example, black mamba and cobra, two of the most venomous snakes in the world, have round pupils and not thin vertical ones. And there are several non-venomous snakes with slitted or thin pupils. It is a back-breaking job to observe the eyes of a snake from a distance unless you have a pair of eagle eyes and it's definitely recommended to observe the snake from a safe distance rather than getting too close. Let us now see some of the most venomous snakes found in India. The Indian Cobra, also called Spectacled Cobra, Asian Cobra or Binocellate Cobra. Found throughout India, this snake is a member of the big four species that inflict the most snake bites on humans in India. This moderately sized, heavy-bodied snake can be easily identified by its relatively large and quite impressive hood, which it expands when threatened. It generally grows up to a length of 1 to 1.5 meters. King Cobra also known as Hamadryad. The king cobra's skin is olive green with black and white bands on the trunk that converge to the head. The head is covered by 15 drab colored and black edged shields. Adult king cobras are 3 to 4 meters long. Russell's Viper or Daboya. It is another member of the Big Four distributed in Asia throughout the Indian subcontinent, much of Southeast Asia. It grows to a maximum of about 5 feet and is marked with reddish-brown spots. Saw-scaled viper Found in the dry regions of Africa, the Middle East, India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan, the saw-scaled vipers are relatively small snakes usually below 90 cm long. They are also a member of the Big Four. Crate or Indian Crate or Common Crate this black or bluish black snake is found in different parts of the Indian subcontinent. Its average length is 0.9 meter, but they can grow to 1.75 meters. Its body is cylindrical, tapering towards the tail, which is short and rounded. There are a huge number of non-venomous snakes found in parts of the Indian subcontinent. The most common ones are 
Indian red snake found mainly in parts of south and southeast asia a red snake can grow up to 2 meters in length its body color varies from pale brown in dry regions to nearly black in moist forest areas they have killed scales slender bodies and wedge shaped heads indian vine snake or asian vine snake it is an extremely slender bodied mildly venomous tree snake native to south and southeast asia The bite is not fatal for humans although African vine snakes can cause human fatalities. Vine snakes appear in two colors. Green species inhabit rainforest areas and gray or brown species live primarily in savannas or dry forests. Common cat snake or Indian gama snake. It has a yellowish olive or pale gray color along the back and a white black edged zigzag band along the length of the head with two brown bands edged with black diverging posteriorly. It is a mildly venomous snake just like green Indian vine snake. Wolf snake. They have a relatively square snout. The scales range in color from black to reddish brown. Though these snakes do inject venom when they bite, this venom is relatively mild, causing pain and swelling. Common wolf snakes are often confused with common crates which are highly venomous. So now that you have seen some of the most poisonous snakes and also learned how to tell apart venomous and non-venomous snakes, let us know how to evade from a confrontation with a venomous snake if you come across one. Remember Snakes are more afraid of us than we are of them. They are not naturally programmed to bite a human, but if you trouble them, they will trouble you. And if you're unfortunate enough to get bitten by a deadly snake, there are certain safety instructions to follow. Don't panic and don't move. Stay still to prevent the venom from moving through your body. Call an ambulance and ask to be taken to a hospital or a doctor. Loosen tight clothes. Apply pressure at the bite with a pressure pad or any stretchable material. Don't wash, suck, cut or tourniquet the bite. So next time you see a snake, don't run like a scared rabbit or don't pick a rod to kill that beautiful animal. Try to figure out if the snake is potentially dangerous and call an expert to handle it. Most importantly, do not get too close. That is all for this video. Before you leave, Do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon below so that you do not miss out our future videos. If you enjoyed watching, give us a thumbs up. It helps. See you again in our next video.